Hey crew, it's Pitt and I'm back with another react. You know I had to jump on this one, I just wasn't able to by the end of the day yesterday. So today we're going to dive straight into Dax and Tom McDonald with Soldier. Let's dig in and see what's up. That's a terrible sight. Rag him in, boys. Everybody wants to talk big shit until it's time to walk the walk. That, that's a real deal shit right there. Everybody's like, oh, I could have done it. I could have done it. I could have done it. No, you couldn't. If you could have, you would have. I know how it feels to be caught in the rain. Going to war in your brain when the pressure uh -huh. is staring you right in the face and anxiety is grabbing you, making you shake. But there's people uh -huh. depending on you to be great, so you hide all the feelings and push them away. It's uh -huh. That's some man shit right there. Right? Like, you can push the feelings away for now. You got to deal with them eventually. But when you're in the middle of some shit, that is not the time to be feeling no feelings. That's for damn sure. Having you making you shake with this people depending on you to be great so you hide all the feelings and push them away It's too hard trying to mix it all with the pain I'm drinking the cool off and it's all in my veins I'm making these new songs from going to restrain from grabbing the salt off and going to cock it and aim Nah, they don't let they don't let us play with the salt offs anymore They they quit doing that after World War II for some reason Who wants to, who wants to people who shame The role that a man has to play as a husband, a father, a brother, a son to a servant protecting his family's name They laugh in your face when you try to explain or express Then tell you they love you without any loyalty, patience, or basic respect Then expect you to smile every day while it eats your mind and your soul Get flesh and you work and you wither away to the day that you can't And you're broken and nothing is left in your world and you can't even <laughs> That's a Fox One, huh? My pronouns are he, him, his. Ah, ranking the heat off the top. My job is to feed these kids. Dead. Be strong, keep feelings within. <laughs> My papa taught me to protect the weaker man. Ain't what he got, a man is what he gives and what he. Say that one again. Strong, keep feelings within. My papa taught me to protect the weaker man. Ain't what he got, a man is what he gives. And when he uh. gives it all, and it still ain't enough, then he's the one to blame, and no one gives a shit. Uh. I believe a man behind. We all crack and break within the hands of time. I got an axe to grind. With anybody trying to identify as a guy, if their chromosomes ain't X, Y, you. Bring that heat. We never understand what it's like for a man. Gotta fight with your hands, wanna cry, but you can't. If it's right for the fam, you will tighten your pants. Provide a romance, you would die where you stand. Gotta be a bigger man when there's problems. Get judged by the money in your wallet. It's our fault, let's be honest. We built a world that labeled us toxic. We have tolerated too much. That is what the problem is, right? There's, there's absolutely room for tolerance, but there is certain things that should not be tolerated. And playing into insanity is one of those things that should not be tolerated. Right. Enabling somebody who has a mental problem is a problem. Impeach and keep the peace and fight the fires and be police. When a man gets tired, he don't lay down to sleep. You take all the heat, don't complain over trees. Cold world and it's hard times, and our children inherit the land. If you think that being a boy is just picking the pronoun, you should try being a dad. Changes everything about you. It changes everything about you, or it should anyway. It should reorient re your priorities right away. You can build all the houses and fix all the cars and work till you're breaking your back. Uh -huh. The hardest job in the world, being a man. Uh -huh. I'm a soldier. Don't put your head out, babe. I'm a soldier. I'm just glad we don't have to go to war. I'm a soldier. Battling feelings I can't even show. Weight of the world on my shoulders is crushing me. People around me, they don't even know. That's the problem. 
right? The support group has to be there. And I know, I know I've been there. It's a toxic situation, but you have to find a way to let it out. You cannot hold on to it. That's how you come home with PTSD. Put on this case and go save everybody while I'm being shattered and all of my bones. Take on the pressure of being the hero who saves, but has no one to help with his own. Demons inside and try to eat him alive. I'm going insane and when I'm out of my mind, I look at the stars and talk to God in the sky. I wait on his words, but I don't get a reply. I try to refrain from diving deep, so I hold back tears that try to come out my eyes. And this world is a man where we know we can't cry because the people we love look at us to confide. So I'm silently screaming for help life is a battle inside of these trenches especially when fighting it all by yourself PSD <sighs> from the memories people who left you for dead and drug you through hell leaving you shot deep inside of a shell with stories you hate but nobody to tell why you question god if you're so I'm a Y'all make sure y'all get back over to my boy Dax's page and show some love. Give him a like, share, and a sub. Throw him a comment and let him know you appreciate what he is doing because I do. Right? I didn't have a whole lot to stop and talk about on this one because he, he said it, right? Like, we, we've got people over there in the heat and we don't support them enough. That's an absolute truth. We don't tell them that it's okay to talk about the shit. Like, and we say that we do, right? But then we act differently. When we have our, our safety briefs before we go on operations, they tell us, you know, if you got problems, go talk to chaplain. If you got problems, go seek help. But then if you do that, then they talk about you. Right? That's something that we got to get a bad, got to get past. You know, most of the P PTSD started off. It wasn't the things that happened to you. It was the things that you did. Right? And that's not every case. Now, don't get me twisted, but. Most of the original cases of PTSD were things that they did that they had problems with. It wasn't necessarily the things that happened to them. And that's something that you got to get out of you too, right? The ending of someone is a difficult situation, regardless of the circumstances. Even if you're in the right, it is still a hard thing. It is something that you will have to deal with for a very long time. And you need to deal with it, not suppress it, not drink it away, not throw no pills at it. Address it. Get it out. Speak it aloud. Go to somebody safe. If you can't talk to your spouse, find a counselor, find a chaplain, find a priest, somebody, somebody to talk to. That is how you get the poison out of your soul, by expressing it. It doesn't matter whether it's anxiety or depression or PTSD or anything. You get the poison out by talking about it, by working through the issues. That's how you get it out. You don't get it out by sitting around and just moping. You don't get it around by hitting that button either. That is an absolute no-no. Get the help. Every single time. I'm, I, I wish I could say that I would be there for you, but I've proven myself to not be that guy. Right? I'm trying to change into that guy, but I've never been that guy. And so <clears throat> when I'm talking about this, I, I, I'm letting you know that I need to do that sometimes too. Like this whole reactions started off about me needing to talk about things and so we did and now we talk about deeper things and that's okay that's how the poison comes out get the fucking poison out of you if you have been in this situation you have poison inside of you you need to get it out you need to lance that boil and get that shit out of you because that's how the healing comes and there is healing there is healing in expressing it there is healing in getting the poison out there is healing in it Get your healing going today. Don't wait. Don't wait. If you wait, you become one of the 22. Don't do that. It's not time to go home. It's time to love your family. It's time to grow a family. We got so much promise about to kick off in this land. Don't be one of the ones that go home. Don't do it. Tom, Dax, this was great. I love it. Y'all did it again. I am here for it. Much love. Y'all make sure y'all get back over and show some love. And if you like what I'm doing over here, do the same thing for me. Give me a like, share, and a sub. Throw me a comment if you agree or disagree. If it remains respectful, it gets to remain up. And if you've got something else that you would like to see me react to, drop that in the comments as well. If you like what I'm doing over here, hit me with that super thanks. To the crew, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate every single minute that you are here with me, and I am praying for you every single day. Until next time, I love you. God loves you. You are perfect, whole, and complete just the way that you are. And this has been Pitt's Take. Peace.